What is up everyone, my name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about a problem with a solution that I came across when I was touring a fish room uh, for the Sacramento Aquarium Society. We had our virtual meet, our first virtual meeting a couple weeks ago and went really well, but uh, Larry and Mary, whose fish room I was touring, I've toured them before, they've been on the channel before, they're in my club, they're great people, I have a ton of fish from them, um, just the nicest people you are ever gonna meet, nicest little family, and Larry has been having this problem with eggs. They do a lot of breeding. They do like beta breeding and a lot of like rainbow fish and catfish and things that are egg breeders um, or egg layers. And he had this problem and then he came up with an, a solution. And the problem is one that I, I'm surprised I haven't heard about before um, because I feel like it would be a more common problem. And the solution I thought was just kind of not genius, but genius. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play the little clip of the video that we filmed, and then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of explain a little more afterwards. So what had, what had happened, I was having troubles with eggs fungusing up. So I kept thinking there's gotta be a better way. And so far this is proving to help. And basically all it is is just hose going through, and I'm using the PVC to be rigid to, so it can hang. And I put a, a little pump on the inside and I'm just running through. So if, there, if there's an algae bloom, if there's a bio bloom, uh, the fungus, so far it's worked with, with bettas. Uh, well, see, the thing that I thought was interesting was why did you think you were getting your eggs fungus? Oh, yes. Because I got in this charcoal filter, it's canister, it's four footer, does wonderful with the fish. I don't have any chloramines whatsoever, so it's taking out ammonia also with the chlorine and once you, you take the chlorine out of the lines you could end up with a bacteria growth in your hoses that's why, why you notice sometimes when you you've got your water changing hoses are turning black and and moldy and fungus up so I figure that might be part of my problem for the eggs fungusing so right now I'm testing with this tank I just fill it with water run this and then I'm going to see how many times my eggs are in better shape coming out of here using this water for like the bettas and, and the rainbows and the corridors. Hopefully getting rid of some of that other bacteria. And on the bigger tanks, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually hang it on the tank with the eggs and try to keep it, keep it going. And see, we'll see how, how much less I have. And once I do that, then I'll combine whatever I... I need to do with methylene blue or hydrogen peroxide, whatever ways um, I choose to go with. All right, so like I said, I haven't ever really heard that problem before. Um, when I was talking to Larry about it a little more off camera after we filmed everything, he was saying that his water filter is pretty much at the main part of where the water comes in for the house. So the entire house was treated by the filter and that gives a lot of pipe for that water to be kind of sitting after it's been filtered, after the chlorine's been removed. That gives quite a bit of opportunity for bacteria growth. And so his thought was they were doing just fine breeding before they installed that filter. And when they installed that filter, they started having a problem with fungusing eggs. That was the only variable that really changed that they knew of. And so having that water sit in the pipes, which if you're not using a lot of water, it could be sitting there for you know a good little bit. Um, not to mention there's all that extra surface area for bacteria to just grow on versus if you're someone like Trent Weldon and you have your water filter right next to the fish room, it's only doing the fish room and there's only 10 feet of pipe afterwards. This is a whole house network of pipes for your toilets, your sinks, your kitchen, everything is ran off of this filter. It's a lot of piping, a lot of bacteria that can build up. So like I said, I don't know how many people that have fish rooms have filters that treat their whole house versus just their fish room. Um, and it's a problem that I'm surprised I haven't seen more of, but I also tend to not see a lot of breeding behind the scenes. And I just, for some reason, I just thought it was one of the most interesting things I've seen in a while, um, as far as like a theory on why something's happening on something that's really common in the hobby. Um, and so basically his solution was to take a UV sterilizer and a pond pump and make this little rig that he can hang on the side of tanks. And so when he's doing fry changes, he can use the water from that tank that's sterilizing it, keeping it from growing bacteria. And he's had a much better hatch rate since he's been using it. Now he's only been using it for a little bit. He's still playing with it, but early testing has shown some pretty positive signs, which is a good thing. And 
the other thing that this is cool for is it could be good for like an algae bloom or something like that. Basically, all it is is just a cheap pond pump. He's got some flexible tubing running through PVC to keep it rigid and hang on the back, going to a UV sterilizer, and it makes it a nice little movable, like hang on back UV sterilizer unit. And like I said, I just thought the water thing was interesting. Uh, I haven't heard of that before. I'm surprised I haven't heard of that before. And like I said, I just feel like I'm going to ramble on and on but i thought it was a cool idea i really wanted to share it um and i wanted to hear feedback from you guys you know what do you think maybe his problem um do you think he's on the right track have you thought of it have you experienced this type of problem yourself i don't know how many people are running filter systems that are farther away from their tank um i know some people don't ever worry about treating their water because their house has a whole filter in it that removes it but they're not doing too much breeding so they might not be noticing that issue um, so like I said, I'm just really curious cause it was interesting to me and I thought it might be interesting to some of you guys. Um, it, especially if you're building out fish rooms or trying to get into breeding or something, it could be a thought and maybe an issue on something that you're having. So like I said, I don't want to ramble on for 20 minutes saying the same thing over and over again, but leave a comment down below on what you think about this. And, uh, I'm curious to see everyone's feedback and, and thoughts around this problem that Larry's been having and the solution that he's kind of come up with. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you're new here, be sure to hit the, hit the subscribe button. We upload every Friday and occasionally some bonus videos here and there and some live streams. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, also hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or upload a surprise video or live stream, etc. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.